Caring for damaged skin. Bad skin can be attributed to a variety of things, those being genetic inheritance, bad weather, or simply poor hygiene. In some cases, it may just be improper hygiene. If poor hygiene stems from a lack of hygiene, then improper hygiene results from improper care. Not everyone is created equal, least of all in their skin. Knowing and being comfortable in one's own skin can lead to lifelong rewards. Chronic acne can be a manageable life solution. The catalyst is dry skin, and for those who suffer from acne usually suffer from skin that is either too dry or not dry enough. This can be prevented by not overdoing the routines of daily hygiene. As a tip, splash the face with cold water before washing with warm water, and after washing, splash with cold water once more. This will ensure that the sensitive pores will be closed during agitated rinsing, thus minimizing the effects of sensitive skin. If washed too roughly or frequently, dry skin will chap and flake. The loose skin particles will cause even more breakouts than from bacteria and dirt alone. Remnants of chronic acne appear in the form of unsightly scars and, in the long run, keloids. Keloids are lumps of damaged or dead tissue that resemble cysts. Typically inactive, keloids sometimes spread and persist on their own, even without the presence of acne. There is no sure topical solution in the removal of keloids. For that, oral treatment is necessary. The recently approved Accutane helps to lessen the appearance of keloids, though it works indirectly by minimizing the sebaceous glands that irritate the skin. For direct treatment of keloids and cysts, an injection of cortisone is the most common answer. Cortisone triggers a reaction in the immune system that helps the body fight inflammatory ailments. Once injected, its effects can take as long as a few days to fully work. The lumps may still persist, but injections help to soften them, thus making it easier to gradually heal. Chemical peeling is invaluable in the treatment of acne scars. Scarring typically affects the outer epidermis, and peeling it away to reveal the newer, untouched skin is aesthetically effective. But peeling should only be done after the acne has subsided and little keloids remain. Peeling will expose new, sensitive skin, thereby increasing the potential for infection, any presence of acne will no doubt raise that risk. In the long term, lotions and body oils will lead to unbalanced skin if used improperly, especially excessively. They supply the body with more oils, and excessive body moisture is a common cause for acne and other topical conditions. Know your body before investing in expensive topical solutions. For those suffering from chronic acne and keloids, recent research indicates that the oil extracted from the emu bird contains nutritional properties that aid the skin in healing, as opposed to simply eliminating germs and excess oil.